Let's look at a weld that has a lack of sidewall fusion. Here's our weld, 30 degree weld bevel, lack of sidewall fusion, and in this case it's on the downstream, this is the upstream side, downstream. We have a lack of sidewall fusion. What that is, the welder, uh, when they were welding uh, these two plates together, they didn't get good fusion here. So what there is, there's a gap or there could be some slag, but there's a lack of fusion. And they call this lack of sidewall because it's on this 30 degree uh, beveled edge, machined edge. And I'm using a 60 degree wedge because the 60 degree is good for uh, the body of the weld. And the other thing, we try to hit our signals, we get our best response hitting a indication at perpendicular or at a 90 degree angle. And the 60 degree does a good job on sidewall fusion because that 60 degree colliding with the 30 degree bevel gives us a good perpendicular signal. So we'll see a very strong return. From this side of the weld, not so much. We may not see it at all. We probably won't because on our bounce, we're going to go right up and we're going to miss this. So um, uh, I'll show you what it looks like. So again, I'm uh, scanning. Let me run 6dB and 6dB. I use my side drilled hole on my IIW block and um, to bring that to 80% full screen height for my um, sensitivity, uh, uh, the, the uh, decibels, the uh, gain is 63.8 dB. And to bring the side drilled hole to 80%. And again, if we look at this weld, we will see our telltale, um, that's our root signal, our geometry pull back. This is a good area of the weld. Pull back and I'll see, uh, let's see my, uh, my toe, my far side right here, that guy. So scanning and right there. Right there is that lack of sidewall fusion. It's uh, about... Mm, about uh, 250 thousandths down. This is a 0.625 uh, thick plate. My range is set at two and a half inches. Um, one and a quarter inches, that's the first leg. If we take the thickness, 0.625, divided by the cosine of 60, that's our angle of our transducer, um, th that comes out to be uh, 1.25 inch on the first leg, and then the full V is two and a half inches. So right here, I'm hitting that lack of sidewall fusion. Very good response because I'm hitting it at a perpendicular angle. Um, let's move the transducer uh, per, uh, parallel to the weld and um, we will see, there it goes away. That, that's gone, come back. I'm into the lack of sidewall fusion here and uh, come back. Keep pulling it this way, and we'll see it ends there. So there's uh, this area of the weld. There's a lack of sidewall fusion. See, very high amplitude. Let me bring my gain down to my reference level. And you can still see. Actually, I'm a dB uh, down. You still see. Look how sharp that signal is. Let's rotate drops off very rapidly it's a machined surface basically that we're seeing and drops off very rapidly it's in my second leg between my uh the root and the toe and look at this a nice clean sharp signal let's look at it from the other side of the weld i probably won't be able to see it Now that's the, uh, there's, there's the root, there's the root of my weld, this is a good area, and the toe, I'm really not seeing much of my toe, but let's look in over here, and see that, I'm really not, I'm really not seeing, you can't, you can't see it because 
that bevel shooting from this side. This is my lack of sidewall fusion. Coming over here with 60 degree, I'm coming up, bouncing off the bottom and up this way, and I'm just not going to see it. So that's a very telltale on this other side. Look at look at that, that huge signal, nice and clean. That's a beautiful signal, and it shows that uh, on the weld. Here's our center line. Upstream, this is our zero. Upstream, downstream, this lack of sidewall fusion is on the downstream uh, side. Nice strong signal.